Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Semmerauer. Let's get right to our top stories this morning. Brought to you by the Nevada Hands Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. Review Journal readers got an opportunity to ask questions about the COVID vaccine to Dr. Anthony Fauci. The chief medical advisor to the White House said the federal government would not impose new pandemic restrictions. He also stated his case for getting more people vaccinated. 99.5% of all the people who've died from COVID were unvaccinated. 0.5% of the people who've died from COVID were vaccinated. That statistic alone tells you why it's critical for everyone to get vaccinated. These vaccines are highly effective to encourage more folks to get vaccinated, Vax Nevada Days held its second week of drawings. Review Journal's Jen Ah highlights the winners and the prizes. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Renee. Governor Steve Sisolak and Immunize Nevada announced this second week's winners at Lake Tahoe Nevada State Park. Among this week's winners, a Henderson student who won $50,000 in tuition and a Carson City woman who won cash prize of $50,000. Governor Sisolak also touched upon the state's vaccination numbers since starting this raffle. Nevada has risen ahead of the U.S. vaccine first dose trends, which is exciting. It's our moving back forward uh, with 2% of eligible Nevadans receiving their first dose last week, which is higher than the national average of 1.5%. At the same time, the governor spoke about the rising new COVID cases and hospitalizations in Clark County. You can find the nearest vaccination site at nvcovidfighter.org. Renee? Hundreds of thousands of Nevada families can expect a payment soon from the federal government. The first installments of the expanded child tax credit are being sent out now. Families will receive $3,600 for each child younger than six and $3,000 for each child six to 17 years old. Nevada Congressman Stephen Horsford said he's been reaching out to families to make sure they know about the credit, particularly in rural parts of his district. Congresswoman Susie Lee says that she will send out a notice soon. She noted that 85 percent of the families in her district qualify for the payment. Meantime, police have made an arrest in a fatal shooting at a Northwest Las Vegas restaurant. 24-year-old James Hall was arrested on suspicion of murder. A 20-year-old man was killed Monday at the Fire Rock Steakhouse on Centennial Center Boulevard near U.S. Highway 95 and Ann Road. Now it's time to take a look at your local weather forecast sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour Air is here for you. TGIF everyone heading into the weekend with sunny and hot conditions. Highs today near 108 degrees, breezy conditions with winds coming from the southwest at 20 miles per hour. For your weekend, isolated showers starting Saturday night, about a 20% chance. Breezy conditions staying around. Sunday, a 40% chance, 102 by Sunday. Showers and thunderstorm chances sticking around all through next week. Here's the latest in sports. Former Raider and Oakland native Marshawn Lynch opened up his newest storefront beast mode inside of the Mandalay Bay. Even though it's his name on the merchandise, Lynch says that his family should be the ones getting all the credit. No, my family is favorite thing in there right now. You see? I, hey, I'm really proud of them. Man. They, oh, look at what they done did. They done come all the way from the from the main streets of the town and look, they got all in the Mandalay Bay kicking back with a whole store open and everything. I, man, I'm proud of look, man, I'm giving Man, shout out to my family, man. Oh yeah, shout out to the fans too for coming out to support, man. I appreciate it. Rocking with the dude. Lifestyle News sponsored by Oakmont of Las Vegas Assistant Living and Memory Care, the best care for the best life. If you're buying a car or getting a car fixed, be careful. A new study named Nevada the worst state in the nation when it comes to auto-related fraud. The insurance marketplace ClearSurance looked at Federal Trade Commission figures and found Nevada had over 340 cases of fraud per year for every million residents. That's the highest rate in the U.S. Delaware had the second highest rate of auto fraud, followed by Florida, Connecticut, and Missouri. In your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental Love Your Smile Again, we're learning more about the financial problems at the Health Insurance Trust for Clark County teachers. 
Records obtained by the Las Vegas Review Journal show THT Health had $43 million in debt as of February. The executive director of the Clark County Education Association said any estimate from February is immaterial now. Because of the work the trust has done recently, the financial issues have led to several changes at the trust, including a new administrator. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoky and Cigar Shop. Islam Makashev is a heavy minus 605 favorite at Circus Sports against Thiago Moises in the main event of Saturday's UFC card at the Apex in Las Vegas. The total is four and a half rounds with the over juice to minus 138. In the co-feature, Misha Tate is a minus 135 favorite as she returns to the octagon for the first time since 2016 in a women's bantamweight bout against Marion Renault. The total is two and a half with the over heavily juiced to minus 295. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, CES will have two new exhibit categories when it returns to Las Vegas. Organizers for the massive trade show announced the new categories this week. One is food technology, with companies like John Deere and Impossible Foods showing off their products. The other new category, space technology, where Sierra Space is set to show its Dream Chaser space plane. CES takes place January 5th through the 8th at the Las Vegas Convention Center and several venues on the Las Vegas Strip. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, Lady Gaga's band leader is coming back, but does that mean the lady herself is next? Review Journal columnist John Katzlamides has the answers. Band leader Brian Newman's After Dark series is coming back to the Las Vegas Strip from August 12th through August 14th and again August 19th through August 21st at Nomad Library. Newman is best known as Lady Gaga's band leader, trumpet player, sometimes vocalist, and very good friend. Her shows have preceded Newman's at Nomad, her shows at Park Theater. We're thinking that Lady Gaga herself is going to be announcing her return to the Strip sometime soon. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From all of us here at the Las Vegas Review Journal, happy Friday. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal.